curls, curls, curls. How are you today, Miss Loretta? Well, I'm doing just great, Samantha. So I see that you and Johnny bought the beauty shop from Reba. We sure did. Reba and Charlie moved right on out of town. Well, I heard that Charlie only agreed to get back with Reba if she agreed to move far away from this town. Now, I love my little town, but we sure do have some drama here. Yeah, there's quite a few interesting characters in this town. Kind of why we moved out in the first place. I'm so glad that you and Johnny moved back to Flowerton. Oh, and I hope you know how to do tight perms. Reba knew just how I like my curls. Don't you worry, Miss Loretta. I'll take good care of you. Good. Oh, and Reba had all the gossip. You got any sauce from any of your customers? Well, I had this one gal come in here yesterday and she told me she heard something about Sherry. What'd she say? Now, Miss Loretta, I do love me some gossip, but this one is just outrageous. I really don't want to start any trouble. Samantha, I really don't like to gossip either. Just know that anything you tell me will be kept under lock and key. This is just so silly. She said that Sherry didn't really lose her first baby. She said that Sherry's baby was switched at birth and given to someone else whose baby had passed away, making Sherry think that her baby had died at birth. Did she say who the baby was switched with? She said she didn't know, but she was gonna investigate further because inquiring minds gotta know. Did she happen to say who she heard the gossip from? She said that she was playing bunko the other night and one of the other gals said she heard the news from the butcher. Bart the butcher? Well, hell, Bart is losing his marbles. He once cut me ham on a three when I asked him for it on a two. He's just making up stuff. Tell your friend that Bart is a damn fool. <laughs> I'll let her know. I'm gonna go mix up your perm solution. I'll be right back. Who the hell is telling Sherry secrets? <gasps> Nick, he's gonna turn this whole town upside down. Hi, Miss Nikki, are you covering the store today? Yes, Carmen, and you can just call me Nikki. No need for that miss stuff, I ain't that old. Well, you're older than me. So you here for some candy or what? Yep. <gasps> Mommy! Hey, sweetie, I was looking for you. Daddy wants to see you. He's awake? Yes. Let me go get him some snacks. Okay. Hey, Miss Caroline, you need something? Yeah, give me a pack of Benson and Hedges Deluxe Ultra Mentholites 100s, please. Hey, did you hear the gossip that's been going around all over town? No, I've been busy with Junior at the hospital. <laughs> I could use a little gossip. What's going on? It's about your sister-in-law, Sherry. What? Well, I overheard the mayor's wife talking to the minister's wife at the video store. They said that the first baby that Sherry lost in the hospital when she was pregnant with Rick didn't really die. What? They said that someone switched Sherry's baby with someone else's baby who had passed away in the hospital that day. That's absurd. Well, now the mayor's wife wants to find out who else's baby was born in the hospital that day. Don't be spreading that rumor, Nikki. Sherry wouldn't want that rumor going around. Well, I haven't told anyone but you. Since you're her sister-in-law, I thought you should know. Aunt Sherry had a baby before baby Bo? Yes, sweetie, but that baby passed away at birth. But she said someone stole Aunt Sherry's baby. No one stole her baby, sweetie. The mayor's wife and the minister's wife are out there spreading cruel lies. They ain't got nothing better to do. And I'm gonna put a stop to it. Want more drama? Subscribe and hit that notification button.